fresh steel out of the forge, out of the heat treat oven. Cooled enough so that I can start my process here. My signature process to provide what has become kind of my stamp, kind of my mark, and that is my forged finish blades. And I just love them. The character that comes on the knife right from my shop here is, uh, is a beautiful thing, I think. It makes every knife just that much more unique to come from the shop with those different patterns and all, all kinds of stuff going on on the surface of the blade. Just so rich. Here I am now. This is the final batch of the year, the final production run of knives. And I chose all Scandi grind for this set here. You can see there's quite a few on the table. Now Scandi grinds require more grinding post heat treat than a flat ground knife. Because a flat ground knife is basically fully ground besides for your secondary edge. Whereas a Scandi grind, you have to grind in that whole bevel to what is essentially a zero grind after heat treat. We work through several belts on the belt grinder and then they go to my buffing machine here with a couple different compounds and we produce what is uh, just a frighteningly sharp edge. Here we are. We have some gorgeous handle configurations for these knives. Being the last ones of the year, we're going all out with some beautiful finishes. A brass liner on this one you're looking at here. And on top of the beautiful handle configurations, we're doing custom airbrushed leather. So nothing spared for these knives. These sheaths are going to be color matched. Let me know what you think regarding sheath colors. Some people are die-hard traditionalists. You just want the saddle tan, nothing else. Some people love a black leather. You don't see as much black leather on, on knives anymore, especially in the, in the custom boutique knives. But you do see some from makers like Buck Knives. And then you have the more exotic finishes like airbrush colored dyes. Right here we have a navy blue. What do you like? Do you like just the, the plain traditional brown? Your black leather? What? Do you like to sit your knife in? We're doing a brushed oil treatment here now. I don't like dipping my sheets because they take on a little too much oil, but uh, just a light brushing, it gives them great resistance to the elements. And let's have a look this final production run of the year. All complete, let's have a look. Look at that airbrush navy blue leather. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of like a royal blue. This is a custom color I, uh, I made a few years ago, a couple different colors to get what I wanted. And then that's gonna be seeded with, look at this, a Scandi Grind Tuckamore, gray curly maple, which is just a gorgeous premium material. And then we have, Look at that, that mammoth tooth, that beautiful. And then we have a, a royal blue spacer here, then a royal blue liner up against the tang, a polished tang, polished copper pins. Just look at that. Look at that piece. Then we have the Scandi Grind Tuck in this bird's eye burl. I can't exactly remember the name of this wood. I'm going to have to search it up before I list it online. But we have a teal green liner. Look how sharp and bright that is. These fiber liners give such vivid colors compared to the micarta liners. And then we did a, a natural micarta pin. And then in that airbrush kind of like an olive green leather. It's kind of brown on the screen there, but uh, it's definitely a, a green. That's nice, real nice. And then a Scandi Grind Tuck. This is a red G10. Polished pins, all brass, and then that brass liner. Look at that. We did a, a G10 liner because you don't want the brass sitting directly against the frame. Well, you can mitigate it with a with a nice layer of epoxy there. That's what we do. But uh, if you have a choice, a nice layer of black G10, then a polished brass liner in between there, and then out to our red 
G10. Isn't that beautiful? And that's sitting in this dark red, dark red leather sheath. Look at that. Look at that hint poking out there, that red leather. Isn't that beautiful, that brass? And then for the last one, we're doing a dangler setup. Just have to add the straps on them. A little different style sheath, both set up with danglers. And then this matching pair, look at these. Again, Scandi grind, forge finish. These are a, a Bacot wood. And this is a synthetic pearl spacer here, a red G10. Isn't that handsome? Brass song tubes back here. This pair came out just really rich, just classic colors. Oh yeah, look at that. That dangler setup. And so that's it for this video. I wanted to run you through this little batch build just like old times. That's a, an old school style video there with a little less cinematics probably. Not quite as much time for the cinematics right now, but uh, yeah, those are available. You can shoot me an email or I'm hoping to have them up on the website by the time you see this, but hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. Leave me a comment down below, and if you're interested in a custom build, something from my website and one of these, shoot me an email or check out my website, kylenosley.com, to acquire some creations that come out of this beautiful shop.